Afternoon people, um, first notice questions again from three men on the block that's <coughs> gradually morphing into four. Usual suspects here. So what did, what did you think, Alex? Um, I thought, again, Alex was good again this week. Uh, if you take the, the only substantial um, questions that were asked were about the number of people in education and although uh, she went on at length, she's still doing the same thing, she's still reading from a script. I don't think she made any serious hits on him because he keeps going back with the same mantra. We aren't charging fees, we're never going to charge fees, we're, we've got more people at university than we had before. And for John Lamont to have a go at the number of English students is an interesting unionist perspective. Um, so, you know, I, while she had a consistent and very long-winded go quoting all sorts of stuff, I thought Egg was was pretty good in his response. He, he hit all the right buttons um, and put her back in her box. When it came to uh, Ruth Davidson, I thought she was pathetic. I mean, she was worse than I've ever seen her as far as I'm concerned, because all she did was try to dredge up any number of potential tweets from any bugger under the sun and actually use that as an example of the negativity of the SNP and the fact that the there's an attempt, as there as has been, by, was by Margaret Kern this week to say, ah, you're all negative, you're all negative, which is an interesting piece of hypocrisy. So the fact that he could quote Murdo Fraser's tweet and Murdo Fraser's face with a picture, I mean, that was, he didn't have to say no. anything else, because for Murdo Fraser to say that it just tells you the bloody mess that the Tory party are in. And then Wee Willie comes up with the same old bollocks. And he, interestingly enough, it's usually the First Minister's role to ignore some of the detail of what the, guy, what the person's saying to them, because they can. Willie Rennie totally ignored everything Alex Salmon said about, yes, you might be spending more on this in, in England, but you're taking it all away from here, and here's one expert, another expert, bum, bum, bum. So I thought it was pretty masterly, and uh, to be honest, the quality of the opposition, as Alex said, the poverty of Labour opposition is bad enough, but the rest of them were even worse. Phil? No? Yep, thought yeah, Salmon was in top form. A good bit of anger and exasperation in his the, the way he was doing it as well. But Joanne as well, yeah, that was really funny, the anti-English bit. Yeah. And also as well when she started accusing um, Salmon, I mean, using you know uh, uh, his own version of offence, which is like you know coming from the Labour Party, but right? I mean it, it's totally built. Um, but I think he kind of destroyed her basically when he just hit back at her poverty, or you know the, just that word poverty. Um, and again, she's, if she could just learn, I mean, she'd get an extra couple of points, if she could just learn to actually talk to the camera, talk to the, but it's that shifty bit with the just, eyes glued to the tabletop again. She should be able to do it now. Far too long-winded. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. you can actually see Simon sitting there writing the list thing. Oh, it, it, there's, there's nothing no, there. I and still think the way to fight that is to get up and answer the question. Just ignore everything else she says. Just basically get up and say, well, actually, see all that stuff before you got to the question. It's all bollocks. Yeah, she, she, she can't. answer to your question. She can't do it. She, mm -hmm. she wants it. it. It's in there, but it's, she, needs, uh, yeah, she needs some training in how to do it. I mean, just learn your script before you go in there. Or actually just do what Salmon and, and somebody else did. Just do it off the cuff. I mean, if you're the leader and a prospective yeah, she's first not, minister, she's not you should have the news to be able to do that. Otherwise, like, you shouldn't be in that position. I think she, 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 she shouldn't. You're right. She shouldn't, she shouldn't, be, in shouldn't be in that position if she can't do it. I mean, that, that's. Uh, I mean, you talk about great orators and people. I mean, you just think about. It. They don't sit there like that with their hands on the table. Shake, shaking away. I mean, sorry, I don't want a first minister like that. Uh, I'm sorry. I think it's a, it's a ploy by the no. Vote yes. Look what you might get. And they'll all be terrified and run off and vote no. Um, Ruth Davis, yeah, like you said, it was, it was <laughs> Davidson. Um, it was Murdo Fraser's face. <coughs> it all. I mean, that must have been so sweet when he did that oh, tweet, you know? I mean, that must have been a double edged knife well, just slipping safe, right in between. For Safe during the week, ripped her apart. I did. Oh. did. And Eck could have actually Eck missed that trick. He, he used one of the obvious reposts, but he should have mentioned For Safe. Your pal that got you the job. Yeah. Uh, even he right said now. you're talking crap. So why don't you sit down and give us peace? I, mean, I don't know what she's getting it, but it's, it, it, it's, it smells of desperation. Oh, from, it is. Uh, to, it's, I mean, real desperation well, in we'll, willing. We'll probably, well, we'll probably get on to the, the, the sort of intricate stuff of what she actually said when we do the noise up after this. But 
I did notice that she wanted to to come back at Sandland and the uh, presiding officer. No, she knows you've that. had it, but it was, and, and then of course, yeah, we believe. Really... Sheena, do you have another question? How, how do they work that out? I thought both her and the, and Lamont got three goes at the thing. No, it must, must, must be worked on, your, on your two. Yeah. I yeah. She, she only got two, didn't she? But you're right, she wanted <coughs> to come back, but he knew that and he left her eviscerated where she was. I think, I mean, th th this week it was all about the fact that all three opposition parties have been clearly outed of being complete hypocrites. Um, you know, the, the way the Labour Party voted in Westminster and the way they voted in Holyrood. Or didn't vote. Or didn't vote. The, the line in the sand, the U-turn for the Tories. The really worrying thing about that for me is that they believe they can get away with that, which kind of shows the paucity of engagement of the vast majority of the population. If they believe they can get up and basically vote face, hmm. I will. there are, must be f millions of people out there who don't have a clue what's going well, on. I mean, the, it's true because in the end it's the tabloids that, that, that are the tabloid news that the, the public are seeing and hearing. And that's just sound bites. And don't forget, a lot of it out there, it's, it's tribal anyway. So, with, I mean, most people, the vast majority of people, won't look at anything in depth. They, they, they just look at it. On, on, on the surface, they never look, you know, and, and it's a tribal yeah, you're, response. You're, you're right, Phil, but look, the dogs in the street right now know that the Yes campaign isn't doing a good enough job. I'm going to be half full, not half empty with this comment, because, well, I am, because the No campaign have got more out this week having a go at this with the CPPR and but all sorts of stuff they've been throwing out, and the Yes campaign haven't responded, you know, fast rebuttal sell your story all sorts of stuff and there isn't stuff coming out and there's no fast rebuttal now the msm won't volunteer to cover it but they can avoid it totally and there are other ways of doing it if the yes campaign can now up the game then i think we will start to get to some of the people who are only hearing that story and we'll start to the hypocrisy and they should it. start with the bedroom tax they should, yeah, they should. Uh, yeah. I'm, just I'm so sorry. more on, on the machinations of that and and this simple thing you know at, at the labor and they're all saying yes the scottish parliament should i mean the scottish parliament the scottish government needs to explain why they're in that position it doesn't, it and doesn't what they matter can do. how it good how quick the yes campaign do not have the platform that the no campaign has. oh no no i watched uh, brewer the other night and he spoke over every single, this whole week, he's done the same thing. He's spoken over the top of every single Yes supporter. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't. I watched him with Jackie Bailey. Yeah. He let Jackie Bailey yeah. say a yeah. whole piece, yeah. having jumped all over. In fact, he cut him off. He did. Because yeah. the guy went, well, straight off. I, I can't answer that. And he just went, no, no, it was appalling. It was outrageous. Let Jackie Bailey, he had a pop at Jackie Bailey. Yeah, yeah. And I sat there thinking, right, they don't have to do anything else but continue acting the way they act. I look, but but look. Is no, this, I mean, it's a bit. But I've been a bit general instead of reviewing FMQs well, here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. Yeah, um, a good point. I think Alex was getting quite angry in the middle of the, the session. Yeah. Um, I'm never quite sure whether I like that or not, but he certainly was getting a bit angry. She, Joanne, was quite confident, as usual. She's in her comfort zone. We see that every week now. She doesn't get nervous like she used to. Um, certainly sticks to her script, and it is a speech and then a question. And I'm surprised that, that uh, I agree with uh, Nori. I'm surprised that uh, he doesn't just say, "Right, which question do you want, to, want me to answer?" Because it's a long, long speech. Out of which I couldn't even actually. I, well, I couldn't identify our sound bites this week. Not the ones that were meant to be picked up by the mainstream media and the MSM. Well, she started over the wheel. I see here. In qualifications to get to, the, oh. to an astronaut and she can't get into medical school <laughs> and everything was about the same thing yeah. there are people sitting there who want a place and you're not giving them to them so I thought his answers were pretty good although I would have said at the end of the day well what would you like, like to suggest we do to make more places available or make more places available than anybody else you're going to put up to 9k you want Trident where's the money coming from well he did most of that the only thing he didn't do was Trident which I would have done uh, Ruth, yeah, well, b b before she was able to say anything, somebody in the, in the background said, line in the sand, yeah. so... Murder yeah. Fresno, maybe? <laughs> <You'd agree. laughs> yeah, yeah, I can hear it uh, very clearly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, she was on shaky ground. 
she, I don't know if you saw Wings, yeah, uh, article all about her yesterday yeah, in her excellent. speech, tore it apart, yeah. completely tore it apart. Yeah. She hasn't offered anything. No. The usual, it's a usual Tory thing, they want accountability for your, for your tax. Well, actually, she's, for she's, she, she is a real lightweight when you actually have a look at yeah. politically. She's, there's, there's nothing there. Willie was... Oh, yes. somebody wants to slap him and put yeah, him back but, in his box. But Willie, Willie, just as you say, comes up with this nursery thing. He's been banging again, on it. And, and, again, again, and again, and again, and again. Well, it's take and, a Jack in a box, Willie uh, in a box. Back and then the, uh, the presiding, presiding officer, and I oh. thought she was much better this week. She decided, obviously been watching our programme and decided that she's got to up her game, otherwise she's going to get another low score. Well then why doesn't she tell Joanne to get to the question? She did, she did have a pop on and yeah. the very last answer, uh, sorry, the very last question. Yeah, she had a pop on a few people for yeah. way too long winded, but she, didn't, she still doesn't control the racket, she should, no. she should do something about it. Well there wasn't so much desk banging this week. Tell you, tell you, other thing I did notice about Joanne, she has definitely got teaching experience. There was a point today where there was a we hubbub started in the SMP right, she and she look. did the look right. and it worked. Yeah. yeah. Now that no, yeah, that's true. I did it's about that. authority, mm -hmm. and that's what she's beginning to get. So she is improving. She yeah. waffles. God, she waffles. But that was interesting for me. That means that the backbenchers in the SMP are getting a little bit of respect for her. Well, I, I get it. She like. When when you say this, she's getting better. But what lets lets her down all the time is the script, and obviously reading the script. If she could stand there and deliver it straight from there, straight from there, and not from there, then she'd be worth a lot more. She'd actually be well, a prospective first minister. But, but she's she, not. She isn't. It? She won't she's like be. a puppet. Well, she needs a lesson plan. She needs to write it herself. Yeah, she needs to learn it. I mean, sorry, if, if she's a teacher, then she should at least be able to learn. It's not as if she's talking particularly long. I, I just feel that the last few weeks, Salmon's not as in charge. I, he needs to find a way to slap her down. And I, and I think, as I've been banging on for a while, I think the way he does it is he's short, sharp, and he lets her stand up and hang herself. Yeah, he looked a bit frazzled today, a bit, I thought. A little bit frazzled, but I don't know why. Well, well, look, well he did get angry, and that sometimes when he gets angry... But his demeanour anyway with that angle was just that bit frazzled. <laughs> Ruth, Ruth's, <laughs> Ruth's <laughs> performance, let's say. Well, considering the fact that she's a lying, two-faced, hypocritical piece of... Yeah. Yeah. Jackie uh, Bailey's she crap again? Well. Jackie Bailey's crap again? Yeah, I thought Alex did well in sticking it to Jackie yeah. Bailey. Yeah, that, that was I, true. You know, because the stuff that Jackie Bailey's been on about this week wasn't talked about, but he took the opportunity to stick it to her and say, I suppose that's as good as the lies you told him yeah. about, about MRSA. So I thought it was pretty yeah, uh, Metaphorically put the head on it. I, I was a bit surprised because it was a big hoo-ha about uh, Edinburgh Beds. Mind you, it would have opened a good door because it was a big stomach when they built the new hospital, mm -hmm. Labour. 330 no. odd less beds in yeah. Edinburgh when they yeah. built that. Yeah. And all PFI, I think it goes. Yeah. Right, what about scores on the doors, chaps? Alex? Uh, okay, I'll give the speaker three. We'll go back with this this week. I give Willie Rennie minus one, Ruth <laughs> Davidson minus two, John Lowe at five, and Alex Simon nine. Mm. Quick one, then. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, you know? I'll go for nine for, for Alec. Give Joanne a seven. The other two, nothing. Um, and uh, cause I can't even be bothered giving them a minus score, they're that bad. <laughs> and presiding officer, marginally better, but she's still not two, yeah. Oh, two. Two. Uh, she's going down. I'll give the presiding officer a five, I think. I think, oh. she, I think she did quite well this week. Mm -hmm. uh, Willie, one. Waste of time, you know, they're banging on about the same thing and that. And, Alex will always take me to pieces on that. Ruth, I don't know where she, I feel I should give her a score for having the gall to stand up there. I've been told all this rubbish this week in these speeches. One, just because she, she's got the cheek to stand there and tell lies. Joanne, I thought she did very well this week. I think I'd give her an eight. I thought she was very good. She didn't get to, I don't think Alex stuck it to her at all. Um, Alex, I'll give him an eight. I'm kind of same as John Lamont go away. Well, I, I just, I, I didn't feel that he dominated. I think he's between two stools at the moment. I think he's trying to be Mr. Reasonable to uh, chase the female vote. 
Well, well, I thought that's important. His natural position is to get in with the boots. I, I think you're right. He's a between a wrong and a hard. He can look. He, he can did look quite like well a, in rubbing a face into poverty. Yeah, but he can look. But he can look like a bully, bullying women. That's right, the trouble. Yeah, that's and, right. and he could have risen to Ruth's, Ruth's attack. This list of uh, so-called negative stuff. And but it, he decided to be diplomatic here. Yeah, and I think there, in that respect, there is a consistency across what was being said. You know, hey, Mrs. He's not letting your wings go to university or college. Uh, Hey, Mrs. The SNP are sending around tweets saying it's a good idea to get people have people be fired and having a dig at this and that. And then we Willie stands up and your two-year-old Wayne can't get in, in a play school, or whatever. So, you know, because Eck made a speech, as we know, at the at the weekend where he talked about child education, which was very female oriented, mm. and it, and he wasn't his usual strident self. So I think. I think that there is a consistency across the piece of try of the opposition trying to appeal to the women bit, and it's very hard for him not to be himself. Yeah. Mm. Well, Alex, for me, I'll give him an eight. Joanna seven. I thought she'd do well this week. Ruth, Ruth get a zero. Willie, <laughs> a slap. No, no, I'm going to give Willie one because he looked as though he cared about it. Oh, and frankly, I don't care. People that doesn't care about like two year olds. He don't vote for another 16 years. 14. The presiding officer. Well, <laughs> only the one election. Only no, 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 referendum. No, 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 change. Yeah, yeah, they should if we win. Uh, right. So that gives us what 1834 for Alex. Joanne's done well this week. 27. Ruth's minus one. <laughs> Willie is one, he was lucky there. Presiding officer is looking up, she's on 15. I think possibly this week was more memorable for what wasn't brought up rather than what was. Like the bedroom tax. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, that, it would be an own goal there for Well, that, for tells, labor, that yeah. tells you a lot. Tells you, yeah. given, given what they've been doing all week about the bedroom tax, the idea of discussing it when Eck can respond to it, they're obviously too fear. Uh, kept could, well away from it. Yeah, it that right. tells me everything anyway. Did anybody see uh, Sturgeon in, in the parliament? Yeah. Actually, see when Sturgeon gets going, she's a lot, when, when she's doing, and, and effect, she's yeah. far better than, she's actually far better than Salmon. If I, if I was Eck, I'd go, I'd go sick a couple of weeks and let's, so, oh, you know, yeah. I put her out a question, because she is good and she's a uh, woman and she could, she could give it back and no, still not have the strike. And she can really st whack the females, because it, yeah. it's, 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 it's Half the labour lot up, she can really yeah, stick the well. boots straight. I, I still think that they've got a mechanism cut away in the back pocket that if they don't look like they're getting the women's vote, then yes, I think Eck might take a back seat to the extent that he might step down. Get away. Well, I think pigs will fly before Eck. I think. Down. I think. Think of the problems it solves for them. I know, but there is no way. Look, you, you don't get a leader like Eck. Who doesn't have an ego? He, is he going to walk away from that position where he might be? The f He's done it before. I know, we know, but that was a that's hard. that's only because he actually. The, if if we we don't win the the referendum, that would be the first thing that would happen. He would step down and let her take over and not retreat. Right, we're still going to fight for this, but she's going to lead it because he's worked. But the, before, the idea of him walking away before the referendum, no, yeah, Christ, I'd put a million pounds on that, not happening. No, nah. I, I, I think I do. I think that there's, there'll be. I'm not saying that will have to happen, but I think I'll have a strategy. If they think that that will tip the balance, he'll go. Oh, if they believe that, he'll fall on his sword. Yeah, well, I still maintain part of the strategy for the yes vote anyway is to say vote yes, and Alexander will probably go away. You're not voting for Alex Salmond. Mm. Well, that's what they say in the top ten. They'll probably return. Well, that, mm, that's part of what I'm saying. I mean, that's no, that's one that, of the kind of options. No, on that it line. is, but that's that's a very black and white yeah. way of yeah. doing it, Nori. I'm just saying. Mind you, I mean, at the same time, he, as, as he said himself, latest polls got the uh, SNP on forty-seven percent, yeah. Labour on thirty. I mean, no. a huge gap. Uh, and I must, I must just interrupt you before Stuart doesn't say we'll get another topic. We are, so right? we'll call that date that for uh, first minister's questions. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in two weeks. Yeah, we're two weeks off from FMQ's. Three, three weeks. Three weeks yeah. so we'll, we'll probably still record something, so keep tuned.